Hi, my name is Amanda, and last week I started week one of my YouTube weight loss journey. So today starts week two, so every Monday I will be doing a video update just to let everybody know how I'm doing, different things I've changed, if there's anything I've found that's really helped. So um, as of today, I am six pounds down from where I first started when I began my weight loss journey which it may not seem like a lot but when all I did was change my diet a little bit and start walking not working out just walking some more um, I think it's pretty good six pound weight loss with what little I've changed um, I am walking daily I am trying to make sure that I get in at least 9,000 steps um, there have been a few days that I've met the 10,000 which is what my little Vivo Fit wants me to do. So that is exciting. Whenever I don't get all my steps in, um, I try to either just go to the store, walk around, who doesn't like walking around at the store? Um, or I'm gonna start trying to do the steps, to get, walking up and down the steps to get those extra steps in. Um, another thing that I have found to help me with my weight loss journey is I love chocolate. I think it's one of the most wonderful foods that has ever been made. Um, when my husband and I were on vacation, we took a chocolate tour, and one of the things they gave us were cocoa nibs. Um, that is basically what is the product of the cocoa pod after they dry it and all of that fun stuff. So before they add the good stuff to make it milk chocolate. Basically the darkest dark chocolate you can get. So I have found that you can buy those at the store. And recently, over the past weekend actually, I found at Trader Joe's they have chocolate covered cocoa nibs. Dark chocolate, so it's still okay. Um, it's actually, it has a little tin that it comes in. I was going to bring it in to show everybody, but my brother or my sister-in-law, my husband, ate them all. So they ate all my chocolate. Um, but it is one calorie per piece of chocolate and they're just little, they remind me of little chocolate Tic Tacs and whenever I'm having a little bit of a chocolate craving I'll just grab one of those and it really helps <laughs> and my husband really likes them as you can tell by him eating them all. So um, that is one thing that has really helped. The cocoa nibs are all actually something that you can buy at the store. You can buy them at Target um, and I like them. I love them. Um, another few things that have helped is I am trying to, whenever I have a sweet craving, instead of eating cookies or chocolate other than my cocoa nibs, I will have um, fruit. I've been eating a lot of oranges and apples lately, which is really helping with my sweet craving. And then I'm also trying to do more smoothies. And in every smoothie I have, I make sure I add at least carrots. It's important to me to always have a smoothie with vegetables and fruit. I don't want it to be just too much fruit because then I feel like it's too sweet and it's good to have, it's a sneaky way to get your vegetables in and not realize that you're really eating them because you don't taste the vegetable, you taste the fruit. Um, so those are just a few things that have been helping me. I am doing daily, you, daily yoga videos which I absolutely love. Um, they have a nighttime one that I did last night that really helped me to sleep a lot better. I wasn't sure how it would do, but it did. Um, and then I am doing different ones to help with my stress, relieve the stress and tension that I have in my shoulders. I um, We are currently in the process of moving, so I have a lot of stress up here, especially with selling our house and just, I'm about to start packing today. Really looking forward to it. So excited. But um, we're excited to at least move to transition into the new house. So that will be, you know, the whole packing will pay off in that aspect. But um, so I've been doing a lot of yoga for the neck and the shoulder. I actually go on YouTube to find the videos that I watch for yoga. So check them out. They're pretty cool. Uh, there's not much more that I'm doing um, other than trying to eat lots of salads. Um, I'm eating Laura, Grino or Laura bars for breakfast, 
which is basically there's no preservatives, nothing bad in it for you. It's, I mean, you can read everything on the back on the ingredient label. And my philosophy right now is if you can read it, if you can pronounce it, if you can say it, go ahead and eat it. If you cannot pronounce something that is on the ingredient label of something you want to eat, why put it in you? So that is one of the things that I am doing right now, trying to just focus on eating more clean, all natural ingredients. Um, next week, I'm hoping to start getting out of the house more and just doing a little bit more physical activity outside. Um, I'm going to need some breaks from all this packing, so I figured a great way to do it would be go, to go down by the river by us and just walk on the bike path along the river with my kids. So I'm excited to get started with that. Um, and then when we move, we're getting a treadmill. I am so excited. So if anybody has treadmills and they have one that they really like, please let me know the brand because we are going into this blind. I'm married to a marathon runner and he wants to get one that he can do his long distance runs on if he needs to. So we are looking for a good treadmill, but not too expensive. So that is just a little bit of what I have going on right now. Um, like I said, down six pounds and I've noticed a huge difference in my eating habits. Just what I'm craving, what I want to eat, um, which is good. I like how it's changing, but I also noticed that if I do tend to slip back a little bit and eat something that's not so good for me, my stomach gets very angry and does not like it. So that is a good reason not to eat those things so I don't get sick. That is just a little bit of my update for the beginning of week two of my weight loss journey. I will say that yesterday um, we had Easter with my family, which, okay, any holiday that you get together with your family, there is bound to be a lot of food and a lot of eating. Um, I bought a huge bowl of fruit is what I contributed. Um, I didn't eat any of the ham. I'm not a pork eater. I ate lots of vegetables, lots of fruits. Um, I did have a turkey sandwich um, and some chips and some other things that were not so good for me. But I did not eat any of the cake um, and very little chocolate. So I'm very proud that I survived one family holiday so far without completely pigging out. We have another one this weekend, so uh, we'll see how the update on Monday goes. Hopefully the pounds keep going down and not up. It's always hard to lose weight around the holidays. So let me know how you're doing on your weight loss journey. Leave a comment below and let me know how I can motivate you or encourage you or just a little bit of encouragement for me. If you want to follow my journey, I'd love to have you along. Hit the subscribe button and see my weekly updates. I will also be posting um, video videos of recipes that I really like. I'm hoping to do some freezer meal recipes very soon. I'm going to make some for... Um, while we're moving so that we have something to eat and we're not eating out because it's so much healthier to eat in and to cook yourself than it is to go out to a restaurant. So I'll be doing those and I'll also be doing some baby updates, some different things that I'm doing with my son like baby lead weaning and cloth diapers. So if you're interested in those, be sure to watch for those to come out or just watch my weight loss ones. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you later on this week. Thank you.